Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. So today I'm here in the Cotswolds. I'm going to be exploring Cleve Hill, Cleve Common. This is a lovely area. Actually, that I think it's the tallest point of the Cotswolds. So that's the reason why I've come today to see what this highest peak in the Cotswolds is going to be like. I've been here once before previously in the Cotswolds area. Actually, I came here last summer. Uh, with my brother and my dad, um, not to this specific hike, but to another part of the Cotswolds. And I thought it was so beautiful then, so I just decided that I have to come back. Um, it's currently February, so we're at the tail end of winter now. Destination reached. So I've got all my warmth equipment, I've packed everything I could possibly need. But like I said, today is going to be a very chilled out, very slow hike. It's not a particularly far distance, but I'm hoping that it takes me through a diverse set of landscapes. We're always going to take some little divergence here and there and just get a good sense of this area. And yeah, I'm just really excited for today. I think it's going to be a brilliant hike and I think it's going to be a brilliant video too. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this hike. Let's get on with it. hike is going really well so far. This landscape is so beautiful. It's great to see so many people out here and using this space. It's so vast, so peaceful. I could hear loads and loads of birds as I was walking through too. The wildlife is so much wildlife in this area. Uh, it's really extraordinary. I'm enjoying just switching off a bit, to listening to an audio book. I'm currently listening to Re Ready Player 2, the sequel to Ready Player 1. I finished Ready Player 1 while I was hiking in the Peak District and in the Morven Hills the other day. So I bought the sequel and I'm just chilling out. It's really funny to see how uh, different a landscape is between the winter and the summer. Like earlier last year, I went on a hike with my brother and my dad in the Cotswolds, not far from here actually. And it was a beautiful day, really sunny, really lovely and green and just gorgeous. And yeah, it's funny to be back here and to kind of see the contrast. The Cotswolds has got so much to offer. These last few weeks have been particularly bleak, very wet and windy and cold. So it's nice to be out on a day where it is still a bit chilly, but at least it's dry, it's not raining yet. So I'm quite happy about that. starting to change it's getting a bit windy now but right over there is the Morven Hills and I was uh, hiking over there a few weeks ago it's so beautiful it's great to see them not in the mist Morven Hills is such a brilliant hike it's so funny to see I didn't even realize they were this close together so amazing can't wait to get back there soon as well I'm gonna go there sometime in the summer when it's not as misty it's been beautiful so far like I said a bit more windy but still a great day overall So we're at Cleve Hill now. The peak is just over there. Um, this is supposed to be the highest point in the Cotswolds, which is very cool. It's 315 meters high. Yeah, boys. All right, that's the top of Cleve Hill. Oh, check out this big old plane. Hello, mate. There's the top of Cleve Hill. That's the highest point in the Cotswolds. What a day it's been, it's been so fun, so beautiful. Very windy now, but really great, really grand. Now it's time for the return journey. I slowly make my way back to the car and uh, celebrate another hill climb. Celebrate another lovely day out hiking. There's nothing that beats hiking, there really isn't. cooking some super noodles and I'm gonna have a coffee as well for a late lunch today oh, sorry if I look a little bit disheveled I'm just doing everything I can to stay warm right now 
Often on these walks, I tend to just eat breakfast bars and stuff, but that really does detract from the whole experience. Like if you if you if you invest in some really nice food pouches, or at least just bring some super noodles along with you, and a stove, just your quality of hike and quality of life when you're out on the trail is so much higher. Um, it's a small thing. I'm sure a lot of you do it, but I'm also like I'm sure a lot of you don't as well like even if you're just going on small walks for an hour in the afternoon like consider buying a little 20 pound stove off Amazon because actually like making a tea in the middle of a forest or making a tea in the middle of any kind of walk is so fun uh, and it just gives you something to do and it makes force you to sit down you know take in your surroundings take a breath appreciate where you are and it's just a nice little habit that improves every single hike that I go on Such a beautiful spot, so, so beautiful. Oh, and the sun's coming out now. What a day this has been. Cleve Hill and the surrounding area was absolutely beautiful. I had such a brilliant time exploring it. The whole route was family friendly and really well signposted. It would be really hard to get lost. Uh, on this hike, it's very easy to see where you're heading. And yeah, it just felt like a very friendly, very safe area and I had a great time. I really had a great time. You know, you don't have to go far to find an adventure. You really don't. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the day as much as I did. If you did, do me a favor and hit the like button. Also drop a comment down below. Let me know where you think I should head next. Let me know your favorite area of the Cotswolds. And of course, if you're new here, then hit the big red button and subscribe. Come and join us. I've got hours and hours of UK hiking content on my channel ready for you to binge. I've got loads of inspiration for different hikes around the UK. UK. So if you are new here, then hit that big red button and subscribe because we would love to have you as a part of our community. But yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one very, very soon.